So Keith, as always, it's it's good to see you and good to talk to you. Uh, but we're not talking football today. We're uh, talking mm-hmm. basketball for a change. College to Alley, All Ireland champions on Tuesday. Uh, coming through that decider, I would say there's a great atmosphere around the school this week off the back of that All Ireland success, Keith. Yeah, definitely. You know the the build up's been great. Um, the girls sort of last week, and I suppose uh, before Christmas there as well, we were preparing, and you know obviously the, the girls were in training as as much as they can. Uh, due to the I suppose kind of the COVID and stuff like that, there was you know we were kind of panicking on the lead up to make sure we we're going to have everybody available for us. That was kind of the main concern because you know it's how difficult that. How it can we keep everyone safe in that? So uh, no, yeah, great excitement and the build up, and you know uh, the girls performed excellently on the day and uh, very much got what they deserved. Yeah, and uh, this has sort of been building for the last number of years because the girls won in All Ireland a number of years ago at under sixteen level, mm-hmm. and then they progressed up. But it's it's a higher grade of basketball they're playing now from where they were actually uh, three, three years ago. So when you look at it that way, the progression of the group of girls has been fantastic, Kate. It has, you know, and that's and, and that's down to the work of, you know, themselves obviously putting in the effort and that there. And, you know, Linda McGuinness as well, who, you know, works a lot with the girls and through coaching through Letter Kenny Blaze and that as well. So, you know, she knows the girls through that setup as well. So she's able to sort of work with them bits there and then obviously coming into the school as well and help and, and helping out that way. Um, we have, you know, a few established uh, basketball stars as such in the team. Shannon Cunningham, who's representing Ireland at the moment and, and, and her age group. Um, and uh, Shauna Higgins as well, who represents Blaze. Keely McGuinness, who's uh, Linda's daughter, obviously representing there as well. But then as well, you know, you have to build a squad. And, you know, the, it was the other girls that were coming in as well that, you know, we were able to work with and, and mold. And you're obviously, you're, you're kind of more pleased for them because, you know, they haven't, I suppose, had the exposure to basketball that maybe the other girls would have had. But they're, you know, they're willing to take part and wanting to be involved. And, and that's excellent. And, you know, we're all very, uh, we're all delighted for them as well. Yeah, well, we have to mention, uh, Shannon, because... She put on a brilliant performance, scoring 33 of the 48 points, Keith, in, a, in an All-Ireland final at the National Basketball Arena is, uh, is some contribution now. Yeah, she's unbelievable. You know, she's an exceptional talent. And, you know, she, uh, she got Player of the Month there in her league as well uh, for December. You know, so she's really in top form. You know, Shannon's excellent. You know, sometimes we're speaking to the coach afterwards. And, uh, you know, they had they had two people marking her Uh on her during the game and he says you know i was going to put three on her as well but i don't think it would have made any difference she was just unstoppable at times and she got the game the mvp as she did three years ago when they won it under under 16 level so she's truly a, a phenomenal talent and you know she's a great help for the team and you know she encourages you know being the team captain and you know she brings the other girls with her and uh you know she's a real as i said uh, to them on the uh, on Tuesday after the game, you know, the real role models for the, for the, you know, the younger girls coming through the school and, you know, to see them perform on that stage, it, uh, it definitely motivates the younger ones to, uh, to, you know, to, to try and reach that, those levels and those heights of uh, competition. Yeah. Would uh, basketball be seen as the, the prominent sport in the school, Keith? Because obviously if you look at other schools in the county, you've got your Gaelic and, and, and your soccer and basketball does be played, but, with uh, you down at the college jolly as, as basketball now to the four, is it? Um, not so, not so much. No, no, we no, we do, uh, we do a range of sports. Obviously, we because we won an Ireland an All Ireland and, and, and soccer three years ago as well yeah. for the girls team, which is great. So, and you know they do really well in in, in Gaelic football as well, which is which is which is really strong in the school. Um, it just maybe so happens we've got a real good uh crop there at the moment that's sort of coming to the end you know sort of almost like the golden generation of uh of sport for the girls you know it sort of comes in waves at different times you get a really strong boys team then really strong girls teams and as they move through the school they sort of you know compete and win stuff and then you know you're sort of looking for the next crop then obviously to try and develop them as much as possible but no i wouldn't say i wouldn't say basketball is 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 the main sport um i suppose uh we have we have been really successful in that way, but we're, but we're, but we push all sports throughout the school and you know and 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 try and get them to the end of these competitions and the latter stages and try and get them success. Yeah, and I suppose as you, as you get older, Keith, you always sort of look back on your time being a, a being a teenager and and being at school, and everybody has different memories of of the period. But when you're lifted an All Ireland title, it's a special memory to have. So it is, Keith, and it's something that these girls won't forget because they're two time All Ireland winners. 
Yeah, well, I suppose, you know, the first one was, uh, you know, something that we we didn't, I suppose, really expect. And then, you know, when you go and do something like that, there it kind of, you know, it sort of breeds, I suppose, a bit of expectation in terms of, you know, what's possible for, for this group of girls. You know, we say to them all the time and something that I would uh, say to them as well, I suppose, from my own experience, you know, when you win something at school, at, at school level with, you know, the with the girls that you spend every every day with, you know, it's kind of a slightly different to club. And that way, you know, you sort of, you, you go to different clubs and maybe, you know, people drop in, drop out. But generally with school, you're with these girls, maybe from primary school all the way up, you know, until you leave in secondary school. So, you know, it's it's made extra special in that way. And, you know, to win one was absolutely amazing. But to win two, as you say, it's something that the girls will never forget. What's your basketball background, Keith? I see. I knew you were going to ask me this. You kind of put me on the spot here. Uh, I played at school. I, I, I played basketball at school and, you know, uh, myself and Linda, you know, spoke about the different aspects that we can sort of bring. Obviously, she would have a great wealth of knowledge and, you know, tactically very, very astute as where, you know, I was just kind of a sort of player management and, you know, sort of speaking to the guards and sort of, you know, game management. And, you know, I suppose, you know, when you get to these latter stages of the competitions, you know, emotions can come into it quite a lot. And I suppose, you know, speaking to the guards and trying to, you know, keep them grounded and, you know, let them, let them, sh Obviously, we had a, a semi-final, which was highly, a highly competitive game, you know, and that's where I felt that we really, you know, kind of went to that next level where the girls really progressed. And, you know, I suppose it's once they get to the final end, you know, you're not asking them to do anything that they haven't already done. You know, like they, they, they played such a such a high, high level of basketball. Everyone, you know, uh, contributed uh in that semi-final, which was a really tough game. And then you, you take that into the final again. And, you know, everyone got, got time on the court as well. It was extra special. We were able to use the squad. You know, we had the we had the school up uh, support and we had a hundred supporters we were allowed to allowed to bring. And, you know, there were some parents there as well, which just culminated in an unbelievable occasion for the school. So, you know, just to be a part of that there and, you know, to see the smiles in the faces and uh, at the end and them jumping around and celebrating together, it's, uh, it's extra special for the coaches as well as the as well as the students. Yeah, good stuff. Listen, super week for the for the college. Many congratulations, Keith, to you in London and, of course, to all the girls that was involved and, and the team as well. Double Ireland champions has got a nice ring to it. Well done. Cheers, Ashton. Thank you.